we're in a cab going to uh, the Adidas store in Soho, where I'm going to sign a one-day contract with Real Madrid, hang out with the team's manager, Jose Mourinho, probably the best football mind in the world right now, and also the best goalkeeper in the world, Iker Casillas. Uh, it's always been my dream to be a professional soccer player. Not with Real Madrid, but what are you going to do? It's not a long-term contract, but it's more than I deserve. I did not have my lawyer let this over. <laughs> Never owned shoes this nice before. <laughs> I'm gonna wear them to church. What does the United States need to do to elevate its national team to play with the world's best? The passion is there, you know, and and for me the passion is is the start. So step by step, we'll see what is going to happen. But year after year, I feel that things are going in into a good direction. Euro, World Cup, Euro Championship, <laughs> but. We lost the United States. What did the United States do well in that game? And uh, how can the United States play with the world's best like Spain in the future? Well, I think that three years ago, the United States had a lot of luck. Lucky, very lucky. Spain played a very good game. What happened was that that day, King Howard, I think, paró many balls. In the future, the United States will have players no van eh, más veteranos, más mayores, pero que se han estado fogeando también en ligas extranjeras, ¿no? en cambio de la Premier League. Así que supongo que para la selección estadounidense siempre es importante tener jugadores fuera de, de aquí de Estados Unidos para que aprendan un poco lo que es el, el deporte, el soccer allí en Europa, que siempre es más difícil. All right, so now that I'm properly outfitted, hanging out with Jose Mourinho and Iker Casillas, people are photographing me as if I were actually a pro soccer player. It's time to go to Yankee Stadium. I've got a big match against AC Milan tonight. Uh, so this is a weird feeling to be on the field at Yankee Stadium, and not for a Yankees game, but for a soccer game between AC Milan and Real Madrid, two of the best teams in the world. I'm not sure if I'm going to get playing time. I waved at Jose Mourinho, and uh, he ignored me like we're not best friends. Uh, so maybe I'm thinking this one-day contract I signed might not be binding to the team. I guess we'll see. So this media pass would let us watch from the press box, but uh, the press box doesn't take too kindly to me wearing head-to-toe Real Madrid gear. Uh, I'm not very comfortable in there. Another thing I don't like about the press box, there's no drinking beer. This is the place to be. Uh, as it turns out, the one-day contract wasn't with the team so much as it was the fan base. Uh, wearing head-to-toe Real gear in this packed stadium of almost 50,000 people made everybody either like an instant friend that you were high-fiving with after a goal or, you know, see somebody in AC Milan jersey and you're like, ah, oh, you're the enemy. Such a cool experience. Even the even the most exciting MLS games are only you know 20,000 fans. This is almost 50,000. You know, as a fan of U.S. soccer, I'm always watching the games at home on TV by myself or with one or two friends. And this just blows that experience out of the water. And it's like, wow, this is this is my team for a day. So Real Madrid, clearly inspired by my one-day contract with the team, 5-1, to one, crushing victory, but the best thing about the game was the fan experience. So cool to be with such passionate fans. Probably the best time I've ever had at Yankee Stadium. Why? No Yankees fans.